Midwest, brings with it warm weather, green grass, and fur balls like the one on the screen. Uh, these fawns are born into a rather harsh world filled with predators. A study in South Carolina uh, observed 60 fawns during the first three months of their lives. Uh, they reported that of the 60 fawns, 35 were killed by coyotes. It's over half. If that study, that study should concern you, if it doesn't, and you own pets or livestock, you should be concerned with coyotes because coyotes are a threat uh, to livestock and pets because they are opportunistic predators. My solution to coyotes is snare. I've snared for two years now. Um, I learned from veteran trappers and from my own mistakes. Uh, in the past two years, I've piled up the fur and have improved my reputation as a skilled trapper. Snaring is an efficient and enjoyable way to manage the coyote population and improve the, ba the balance between the predators and prey on your land. Um, I will start by, with an overview of the rules and regulations for snaring in Minnesota. I will know, then demonstrate the proper setting techniques for setting a snare for coyotes. And I will go uh, into the options for the fur once you have caught a coyote. So to start, I'll do an overview of the rules and regulations. Uh, in order to snare, you need your small game license and your trapping license. Uh, persons born after December 31st, 1989 uh, need, a trap, need to take a trapper education course prior to buying a trapping license. Uh, it's a class, and then you do a field day and you get your certificate. Uh, persons born before December 31st, 1989 are grandfathered in and don't need to go through the course, they can buy a license whenever. Um, the snaring regulations for setting a snare are set to limit the incidental catches of non-target animals like deer. You don't want to go out there and snare a deer. Um, these uh, regulations include the diameter of the loop of the snare has to be less than 10 inches. The top loop of the snare has to be less than 20 inches off the ground. And you must check your snares every day. So now that you know the rules, let's uh, demonstrate how to set your, your snare. As you can see, we've got snow here. We don't have any outside. That's a good thing. Uh, snow is necessary for snaring because it provides a map for the coyotes. Uh, basically, wherever a coyote goes, you leave a track. And you can go in and set your snare on the track. It makes snaring possible. So we'll take our snare standard snare. Um, take it. Pretend we've got a, uh, a tree here and uh, a bigger tree off to the side. We'll take our snare, we'll wrap it around a couple times. Now we're staying within the regulations, we're going to keep our loop at that seven to nine inches and less than 20 inches off the ground. So we'll just set that in the opening. We've got the coyote tracks running right through here. Um, We'll take a chunk of wire and we'll wrap it around a bigger tree so it's solid enough that if a coyote gets caught, he's not going to just carry his snare away. So we'll wrap that around a couple times. And now, if the coyote's running on this trail here, what makes him from going around it? What keeps him from going all the way around it? Uh, my solution to that is take a stick or a piece of brush, put it there so that the coyote is forced to go right through the loop. Uh, you may question why a loop of wire in the woods catches a coyote. Snaring uh, works because coyotes are geographically inclined. Think about your route to school every day. Is, do you use the same road? Do you walk on the same paths? Well, coyotes are much the same. They use a trail to get from one area to the next. They'll use that multiple times throughout the winter. So you've got your snare set. Let's talk about what to do when you catch one. There are multiple options for a coyote once it's been caught. Uh, the most popular is the fur market, selling the hide. Uh, right now, the fur market is at record lows. Uh, as many trappers feel that it's not worth it to sell their fur to the fur market. Uh, on average, I looked it up, on average, a coyote hide is going for $20 right now. And it doesn't pay to go out there and spend your time trapping if you're only getting $20 a hide. Uh, the second option for a coyote once you catch it is to tan the hide. This is a coyote I caught last year, one of them. I got it tanned. Makes it uh, very pliable, leather-like, soft. Um, 
You can sell tanned hides for a higher profit. Uh, you can make fur garments out of them. Uh, you can give them as gifts or you can hang them on the wall as a decoration piece that uh, has a good story behind it. Uh, overall, once you have the coyote, there's multiple options for the fur. So I hope you have a better understanding of snaring and how it can help balance the predator-prey population and reduce the coyote population in your area. I started by covering the rules and regulations of snaring in Minnesota. I then went into the proper way to set a snare for coyotes. And I finished by covering the options for the fur. So go out and set some snares and help save fawns one coyote at a time. <laughs>